A questionable real estate deal has a Democratic state senator resigning with only a week left in the legislative session. Now attention has turned to finding his replacement as the divide between the Democrats and Republicans narrows even more. Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer shows us what this shakeup means for the rest of the session. In this prepared statement, Senator Phil Griego calls it a painful decision to step down. There are allegations that Senator Griego benefited financially in an unethical manner for some transactions as a state senator. This report by the Senate's Interim Legislative Ethics Committee claims Griego initiated the legislative approval process last year, allowing a private company to purchase state owned property. The report goes on to claim Griego made $50,000 for brokering that deal with the buyer. And he did not publicly disclose his involvement in the matter. In his letter, Grillo admits his participation in the deal violated the state constitution. But it's something he said he did unintentionally and unknowingly, claiming that he was unaware of that provision in the state law. KOT political analyst Brian Sanderoff says Grillo's resignation could shake things up in Santa Fe. It does create interesting dynamics for sure. Each of the six counties Grillo represents are expected to nominate a replacement, and the governor will pick from those six choices. That could impact some bills as session winds down this week. Because some very important issues will be decided by one or two votes, um, this vacancy could have political consequences for the outcome of some important legislation. The nominee will finish out the rest of Griego's term, which ends in 2016. Mike Springer, KOAT Action 7 News. Several of the counties in Griego's district met today, but no decision was made on his replacement. They'll each name a nominee and send their pick's name to the governor. Phil Griego spent 18 years in New Mexico State Senate, much of it on prestigious committees, but it wasn't without some controversy. He was elected in 1996 after defeating his incumbent opponent. Griego was then arrested in both 2000 and 2001 for drunk driving, but he later became a leading advocate of interlock devices, saying they helped keep him sober. When Grego was last elected in 2012, his opponent accused him of misusing campaign money or failing to properly account for it. He was cleared of any wrongdoing.